Have you seen Martha Stewart on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition? Take it from an expert, I'm gonna tell you everything that she had done to make her skin look so amazing. Make sure to hit subscribe and tune in. Welcome to Obsessed with Skincare. I'm your girl, Amanda, AKA the Skincare Badass. Today we are talking about da 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 da, Martha Stewart. If you guys have not had a chance to check out Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, she's looking freaking bomb. But let's talk about what she really did because let me just tell you, from a skincare expert who's been 20 plus years in the field, I love you, Martha, but that is not just Pilates and horseback riding. Okay, let's get real. So let's pull up a picture of Martha Stewart right here, swimsuit edition. Now, one, you guys, she looks freaking phenomenal and I will never take that from her. I am a Martha Stewart fan. I like secretly hope that one day her and Snoop Dogg like run off in the sunset and live happily ever after together. So this is not a talking shit on Martha Stewart episode by any means. This is a skincare expert breaking it down as to what she's really doing to achieve this beautiful, healthy skin, right? So number one, do I think that there's some airbrushing going on? Yeah. Everybody gets freaking airbrushed, you guys. Top athletes get airbrushed, top models get airbrushed. Kim Kardashian gets airbrushed and she's still gorgeous too. So I'm not taking any of Martha's like beauty away from her to say that she gets airbrushed. That is freaking reality. Talk to any photographer or videographer and they will tell you the same thing. Like, yeah, there's definitely some airbrushing going on. However, I have seen lots of photos from other people randomly at events with her, right? And she does look freaking amazing. So we have got to give her kudos. Kudos to Martha Stewart. Okay, but what do I think as a skincare professional, as an esthetician, 20 plus years in the skincare industry, what do I think she did? I think she did a lot, <laughs> okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with doing all of the things. Now, I've had lots of people ask me, do I think she got a facelift? I don't know. I don't think so. I really don't. I think there are so many freaking cool treatments today that you can get that gives you just as good of a result as a facelift when done for years and years and years at a time, right? There's nothing that you can get on the market that's gonna make you look like you had a facelift within one or two treatments, but there are threads, there's Sculptra, there's microneedling radio frequency, there's M face, there's all kinds of things, and we're gonna talk about those too, right? But there's so many different things that she could be doing. She could be doing all of them in conjunction, consistently, for quite some time, and eating good, and doing her horseback riding on Pilates, right? And all of that together can give her this really beautiful look. So, okay, let's talk about her body first, because her body's banging, and I do attest that to Pilates. Pilates is actually good for the skin as well, but what do I think she really did that really gave her that beautiful glow to her skin? Because if you look really closely at this picture, I don't know if you guys can zoom in or whatever, but if you are at home and you start Google searching Martha Stewart's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, if you like zoom in and look really close, like the integrity of her skin, like on her arms, on her legs, on her chest, it looks really good. Do I think there's airbrushing? Again, yes, but do I think some of that has got to be like, she's actually taking really good care of her skin? Of course. So what is she probably doing? Again, just my opinion. I don't know Martha Stewart personally. Martha, if you see this, I would love to meet you personally and I would love to treat you. Okay, now that I've said that caveat. BBL, you guys have heard me talk about BBL a little bit in the past, so it's similar to IPL, but it's got way more customization and it stimulates collagen. There was actually a test done at Stanford, it was like over 10 years, they took a punch hole biopsy of the skin, um, it did two to four treatments of the BBL treatment, every year for 10 years, took another punch hole biopsy and found that the DNA was actually younger. It's somewhere on the National Institute of Health website as well. So do I think that she was probably doing some of those treatments? Hell yeah. I mean, if she wasn't, I don't know what she was doing, but it's gotta be something similar, right? Because stimulating collagen, repairing damage to the DNA, helping to break up vascularity, inflammation, as well as removing discoloration, and brown spots, age spots, whatever the hell you wanna call them. So do I think she was doing that on her body? Yeah, we do that in people's body all day long, purity. And we have women that are in their 60s and 70s that we do their arms and their chest, and their chest looks just as good as mine. I won't say my age, but I'm fairly young. So anyways, you can maintain healthy, beautiful skin on your full body when you're doing the right things. Do I think she did like a series of three or six? Hell no. Do I think she probably has somebody come to her house and do it every single month? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you if you were freaking Martha Stewart? Come on now. 
So that's one treatment that I think she's doing on her full body. The BBL's in motion, it's super easy, it's not painful by any means, and it just really breaks up that damage, really stimulates the collagen. So I think that's probably one thing that she's doing really consistently all over that's gonna make a huge change to her body, just to the skin in her body. But again, when you're 80, your skin doesn't just look like that from doing it a couple times. She's probably been doing this really consistently for several years, and that's what makes the difference. Consistency in time, right? I also think she's probably doing microneedling. If you guys don't know what microneedling is, it's basically these tiny needles that are puncturing the skin, breaking up old crappy collagen and creating new collagen building blocks from underneath. Using this in conjunction with a laser like BBL is phenomenal for the skin to really smooth out the texture, to really make the skin strong and healthy underneath and really plump up that collagen. Can you do this on your full body? Absolutely. We carry Silfirm at the spa and it's my absolute favorite, but I'm sure you guys have heard of Morpheus 8. That's a wildly popular one. There's all kinds of different microneedling devices with radio frequency. So it's those needles puncturing the skin, stimulating new collagen, and then all this energy. So it's like microneedling on steroids, but like the good steroids, if there are such a thing. Um, so you can do that on your full body as well. So doing these two things in conjunction consistently every single month, doing it on your full body, you're probably not gonna do it every single month just due to healing and whatnot. That's, we'll get into that in a whole nother segment about what treatments to do for the body. But microneedling with radio frequency, BBL consistently over a span of two to three years, you can 100%, 1000% turn back the clock on aging on your skin and not just turn the clock back, but like reverse the aging and take, get rid of all that freaking damage, okay? So those are two things she's absolutely doing. If she's not, she's got some voodoo doctor going on then, okay? Because there is no way you're 80 years old with skin that looks that good just from horseback riding and Pilates. Sorry, Martha, I'm calling you out. I'm doing it. I still love you. Please call me if you ever want a treatment. You too, Snoop Dogg. Okay, so next, let's talk about her face, right? Because Martha is a beautiful woman. And if you go back and look at Martha Stewart 10 years ago, 20 years ago, she's always been really beautiful and she's always had pretty good skin. I did a bunch of research on this and I kept searching for all these photos. And again, so people, I had several people like, do you think she had a facelift? I don't personally, I don't. What I think she did, I think she's extremely consistent with laser treatments. I think she's extremely consistent with microneedling treatments, which have very minimal downtime. Same with certain laser treatments, very minimal downtime. Not all, but the ones that I think she's doing that stimulate collagen and are breaking up inflammation. I think she's eating really clean. I think she's using all the skincare. Do I think she's getting Botox? Of course. And I think she's getting probably threads and Sculptra. So threads are like these like tiny sutures. I don't know if you guys have seen them and you stick them into the face and it like lifts up and it can literally like give you a very similar look to a facelift. And um, now they don't last forever, not nearly as long as a facelift, but they're also stimulating collagen and lifting underneath. So you're thinking about, think about doing those consistently. So you're keeping all of this consistently lifted. Again, there's a little bit of swelling is like your only real like downtime with that. And then also Sculptra. So Sculptra is a filler that stimulates collagen. So it's not a filler like a traditional filler in that it goes in and fills up space like people put like in their lips or in their cheeks. It's going in there and it's basically telling all your own collagen and growth factors to like work in over time, even more so than like a microneedling or a laser or something you put on topically, right? So this is going in and creating all of that lifting um, there's what they call the sculpture glow after about one to two years. And you would wanna do sculpture consistently every one to two years. Now sculpture has been around for a while. So Martha could have been doing sculpture, the BBL treatments, microneedling and threads consistently. And I mean consistently for the last like five to 10 years. And she would easily still look the way she does now, easily. Now. It is a lot more expensive probably to do all of those treatments super consistently over five to 10 year span versus a facelift. A facelift, depending on where you're at, could be anywhere from 10 to 20 to up to $30,000. If you're doing sculpture, you're doing microneedling with radio frequency, you're doing the threads, you're doing BBLs. I didn't even talk about M face yet. And you're doing M face, things like that. You're looking at spending $20,000 a year, right? Or more. Um, so do I think that she had a facelift? No, but do I think that she's doing 
everything possible except for a facelift to keep looking that young, 100%. And good for her, kudos to her. She looks fucking awesome. I hope to God I look like that when I am 80. So kudos to you, Martha Stewart. Let's touch base on M-Face real quick before I wrap this up because I'm sure you guys are like probably Googling, Google searching like everything I just talked about, right? So M-Face is, have you guys seen those products or those lasers that like they put the thing on your stomach and it stimulates all like a thousand times of like uh, contractions? They actually have them now for your face. It's like these little tiny pads. We don't carry it here. I do know a doctor that is like the spokesperson for it out in California and she has had like the most amazing results. Dr. Amanda Holden, if you are watching this, I'll try to tag you in it. Um, she is your girl in California if you're looking for that. But it's really cool because they put these like little pads that have these like wires attached to the machine and it's like stimulating your muscles. So it's like, feels like super crazy and it's tightening from within and pulling from within. So you guys, there is so much you can do nowadays that's not plastic surgery that will give you really just about the same look as plastic surgery. You typically have to do quite a bit more treatments and sometimes you actually end up spending more money, but you typically don't have any downtime and it gives you a way more natural look to where no one's like, oh my God, what did you have done? It's just like, wow, you've aged amazing over the last 10 years. Like Martha Stewart. So if you guys have any questions, click the link below, hit subscribe, comment, tell me what you think Martha did and I can't wait to hear back from you.